Action in the National Premier League's Victoria pits the Oakley Cannons against the Bentley Greens from Jack Edwards Reserve. Oakley Cannons enter the game in desperate need of three points to maintain any semblance of a challenge to runaway league leader South Melbourne. For the Bentley Greens, it's a welcome test against high calibre opposition as they enter a busy run of games, including their FFA Cup match away at Blacktown City. It's two teams known for their commitment to an entertaining style going head-to-head. -head. Teo Pelizzeri from NPL Vic Live with you for the highlights of this match. Foster nods on the throw. Back into the attacking half for the Greens and a kind deflection off McCormick. And now DeVries through the left side of the area. Squares it. And it runs through the six-yard box. Sturton can't run it down. Bosniak. Balling through the left side of the area for Foster. Hits the byline, cuts it back, Ritz. And it's just wide at the near post. Ariel Ritz turning and shooting. And just couldn't bring it around enough. Thrown in, Bosniak. Abradovic. Top of the area, Foster trying to roll his defender. And now a chance for Zorich, cuts it back. And it's a good save. Arriving late, Abradovic flicking it towards goal, but just didn't have the power behind it to beat Bray. So here's the free kick for Bosniak. Plenty of players lined up to follow it in. And that one is comfortably held by Bray. Rolling it out to DeVries. And Oakley will keep it inside their attacking half. Not a powerful free kick, but Bray still had to watch it carefully on the half volley. Webster hits it long, down the left-hand side. DeVries hits it in stride, into the area. And Wilford with a strange clearance across the face of goal. And Bentley will retain possession, ball on the right, Matthews. And now it's been blazed out of bounds. Kromitis, Ritz. Zorich, Webster had his pass charged down, it goes straight to Foster, into the area, through the left side, Foster, it's 1-0, Nate Foster with the goal, it broke kindly for him at the top of the box, and he was able to duck in and shoot past the keeper, Webster made an interception, but then got caught in possession, a little half chance turns into a goal, and it's Oakley Cannons 1, Bentley Greens 0. And Nate Foster doesn't let the fans down. He's still got the dancing celebration going. Sturt. Turns to look at goal. Plays the ball out to the left. Flicked on by McCormick. DeVries, cross comes in. Headed away. Wallace keeps it in the danger zone. Touchdown and a little back heel there. A bit of innovation coming in. But McCormick unable to catch out Honos, who makes a good save. kick hit down the left. Foster does well to bring it down. 1-2 with Bosniak. Foster hits the byline. Zorich! 2-0! And the Oakley Cannons double their lead. Great ball movement down the left. Foster was able to lose his marker in Matthews and able to deliver a pinpoint cross for Zorich and his header in at the near post. Too good for Bray. Oakley with a 2-0 lead. Throwing on the left. Pass is deflected away. Back heel. And now Oakley are moving through Ritz. Turns it to D'Angelo. Advancing. Wallace comes through. Crunching challenge. And the referee says it's not just a foul, but a card. And Wayne Wallace gets a booking for sliding in there on Dominic D'Angelo. Out to Gallo on the right. Nice touch back to him from McCormick. Wallace through the right side of the area. And now McCormick! Blazing across the face. A great chance for the Bentley Greens. And McCormick's eyes lit up. But he hooked the shot and couldn't get it on the target. And you can see the frustration. Long throw by Matthews. Wallace to the top of the area. Gallo caught in possession. Wallace comes in. 
Gallo Sturton. Great save by Honos. Now the attempted clearance is blocked into the area, but the flag is up against McCormick. And McCormick is down and hurt as well. It was a great save by Honos. Sturton on the turn. Honos getting down to his left to make the save. Foster pressing all the way up here. So Bray get the back pass and take it out to the left. Still in the defensive half. There's a push. Referee waves advantage. McCormick down the left hand side. DeVries turning and being bowled over here by Ritz. But the yellow card is out of the pocket and it's going Ritz's way. So here's Wallace from the free kick. Driving it in. And Honos tips it over the bar. Out for a corner. Wallace went for power. And Honos saw it all the way. Bentley take the corner short. And now high to the back post. Across the face. Matthews. Great save by Honos. Bentley are claiming it across the line. And now there's a foul. And they get to relieve the pressure. But Honos saving the day. Scooping it out of his own net. And that is one of the saves of the season. Oakley preserving their 2 0 lead thanks to John Honos in goal. Oakley throw in. Bosniak tries to flick it on. But they remain under pressure. Moved on to Wallace. Loads up for a long shot. And that one goes high and wide. Bentley driving out from the back. Wallace to McCormick. And he's had his heels clipped here. And Ritz has got to be careful. He's already had a yellow. And it looks like another one's out of the pocket. That is the end of Ariel Ritz's night. So here comes the corner. It's been dropped, but there's a foul there. Webster crashing into Honos. Oakley free kick inside their own six-yard area. Lukornu, Blackage, and now Zorich. Here we go, you can kick on this guy. Moving through the centre, to the edge of the area. Now he squares it back up, Abradovich shoots over the bar. Great run by Zorich, and the shot at the end of the move, not that far away. Sadler throws it to Foster. He's being wrestled and survives a challenge from Gallo, gets out of a two-on-one. Passes to Bosniak, but it's been turned over. Webster runs straight into Bosniak, who wins the ball back. And now Bosniak. Shooting low. And that one is straight at Bray. In comes the corner to the near post. Not dealt with. Sturton over his head. Off the line by Abradovich. And now it's been turned in. Webster scores. Coming hooked it back into the six yard area and Jack Webster has turned it in off the line. A mad scramble, but it's Bentley Green's one, Oakley Cannon's two. We have a game here at Jack Edwards Reserve. The comeback might just be on. Kicked out by Honos. Straight back to the Greens though and Cumming will drive it into the attacking half. High into the right side of the area. McCormick is onside, hooks it back. And now the shot, great save by Honos to deny De Vries. That was the chance for the equaliser. McCormick playing it through the penalty area and De Vries on the half volley, bringing another sensational save out of John Honos. Oakley clinging on to their advantage. Oakley take the corner short. Bosniak over the ball, down near the flag. And now it squeezes out. Monte will take it into the area. And he puts it into the side netting. Throw in goes to Gallo. He's got a little bit of space to work with here. The Greens still trying. And now Cardamone. And that one is held by Honos. Sadly gets the hurry up from the referee. And he does throw it back in. <laughs> But it's met with the full-time whistle. Oakley hold on to a 2-1 win. It's Oakley Cannons 2, Bentley Greens 1. And John Honos in the Oakley goal has produced a performance worthy of winning any game. 
Yeah, Miran, two on result. Do you think that was a fair reflection in the contest? I don't know if it's a fair reflection, and uh, at this stage of the season, I don't even care. But we got the three point, which was very important for us because we cut the margin from South Melbourne and we ran away for Bentley. So it was very valuable three points. As per the game, I have to admit that it was what you call an ugly win. You know, we didn't. Uh, I didn't enjoy the game and I didn't enjoy the win. I enjoyed the three point, and it was partly because. Uh, the ground condition is quite awful and it's quite similar to most, I believe. I didn't watch North Scott and, and South Melbourne, but I believe that it's a similar situation because I know the ground in North Scott is not much better than ours, but that's, uh, that's part. And I think uh, FFV have to do something about the ground condition if they want to keep the NPL at good reputation because people that are coming here didn't see good football. And I believe that both Bentley and uh, Oakley can play good football. So it's, it's, uh, it's annoying. So as much as I enjoy the three points, I'm not uh, proud of the win. So your question is not relevant. Oh, listen, I think we, we were good for a point at least. Oh, I think the effort was enough for us to get uh, come away with at least one point. Um, yeah, we can debate about whether we were good enough to win the game, but in the end I thought that uh, a point would have been a fair result. When uh, Bentley pulled it back to 2-1, were there any concerns seeing as your team weren't playing too well? Yeah, we play bad. We play bad because uh, uh, we're playing better when I play bad with you, we play better when we go to Bentley. This ground affecting us more than affecting any team. You know, we saw it against Hume last week or whatever. And I saw it last year too when I was in the second half of the season. We collected more points away than at home, you know. This ground is not suitable for, for Oakley because the people of Oakley expecting the, the, the team to play good football. And uh, we got the ground that is not good ground, you know, so what can we do? Do you think the pitch condition will play a part? Yeah, it doesn't help. It doesn't help. I mean, we, we want to try and play an attractive brand of football, which is possession based. Um, which involves a lot of passing and when you get to these sort of surfaces it, it inhibits our ability to play the game we want and, and we've just got to adjust to the conditions. You've caught up South Melbourne two points, are you confident of catching them? No. Not at all? I didn't say not at all, you asked me if I'm confident. No, I can, I can, I'm hopeful, I'm not confident. You had quite a, a young squad on the team sheet tonight, I think three or four uh, 17 year olds on the bench. Yeah, and one, I think it was two playing. So, yeah, we've, we've got an opportunity now for our young guys to come through and see what they're made of. There's going to be lots of opportunities over the next six or seven weeks, subject to injuries and keeping fit players on the park. So it's a matter that they get the chance to step up and let's see how they match up against the, the first 11s out there in the, in the MPL. You want me to apologise to anybody about the win today? I'm happy to do it, if that's what you want. Do you want me? No. Okay, that's good. All good. Thank you.